Good morning, children. Let's start the reading of the chapter three, movement of the earth. I hope you all are ready for it, children. I want you all to read along with me. In ancient times, people believed that the earth was stationary and heavenly bodies moved around it. Nicholas Copernicus, a Polish astronomer, first said that the earth spins on its own axis and moves around the sun. Thus, the earth has two types of movements: rotation and revolution. Rotation, the movement of the earth on its axis is called rotation. The earth takes 24 hours or one day to complete one rotation. It rotates from west to east. Due to this, we see that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Days and nights. The rotation of the earth causes days and nights. Due to its spherical shape, only half of the earth receives light from the sun at a particular time. This half has day. The other half, which is turned away from the sun, is in darkness and has night. Let us understand the formation of day and night through an activity. Look at figure three point two. Take a torch and a globe. Ask your friend to shine the torch on the globe. You will see that half of the globe is lighted, while the other half is not. Find out the names of two countries, each lying in the lit half and the dark half. Now, slowly rotate the globe. What do you see? You will see that the countries which were in the lighted part have now moved into the darkness. The countries which were in the dark have now moved towards the light. This shows that the Earth rotates. All places have day and night, but at different times. Revolution, while rotating on its axis. The Earth also revolves round the Sun. This movement is called revolution. The Earth revolves along a fixed path called orbit. The orbit is oval in shape. It takes the Earth about three sixty-five days or one year to complete one revolution. Seasons. The revolution of the Earth. Causes four seasons: summer, autumn, winter, and spring. The Earth and the change of seasons. Look at position two. At this position, the North Pole is tilted towards the sun. The northern hemisphere gets more sunlight. Therefore, it is summer in this hemisphere. The days are longer than the nights. During this time, the South Pole is tilted away from the sun. The Southern Hemisphere gets less sunlight. Therefore, it is winter in this hemisphere. The days are shorter than the nights. Look at position four. The South Pole is tilted towards the sun. The Southern Hemisphere gets more sunlight. Therefore, it has summer. During this time, the North Pole is tilted away from the sun. The Northern Hemisphere gets less sunlight. Therefore, it is winter in this hemisphere. Look at this figure three point three, revolution of the Earth and change of season. Here we can see all the four positions of the seasons. Look at position one and position three. When the Earth is in these positions, the sun's rays fall directly on the equator. As a result, the length of days and nights become the same throughout the world.
it is neither very hot nor very cold in both the hemispheres the northern hemisphere has spring in position 1 and autumn in position 3 the southern hemisphere has autumn in position 1 and spring in position 3 here we ends up with the reading part of this chapter see you in the next class